Hi, this is Daniel Ransom, librarian for research and electronic resources here at Holy Names University. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to set up a running head in Microsoft Word for a Mac computer. The running head is an essential part of the APA style for setting up a document. And it's expected in a lot of the assignments that you'll turn in that you'll use the running head. So in order to set up my running head, I have a, a brand new document in Microsoft Word. I've not done anything to this document yet. What I'm going to do is double click up in the header area, which is the top of the page above the cursor. Once I double click up there, I'm now editing the header area. Uh, the first thing I want to do before I add any text at all uh, is under header and footer. I go and I click a checkbox that says different first page. The reason I need to do that is because with the running head formatting, uh, it's supposed to change from the first page to all the subsequent pages of your document. And if you don't click that box first thing, when you try and edit the two later, uh, you're not going to be able to do it successfully uh, to create your running head. So now on my first page, I'm going to type running head colon, and then I would put whatever the title of my paper is. And I would put that part in all capital letters. Then I will uh, go up to my menu, insert page numbers. The page number is expected to be on the same line as your running head. Uh, alignment right, OK, and now it's added the page number. The last thing I have to make sure for my first page running head is that my font is correct. So I click Home to get my font menu. Uh, the current default is Cambria. I want it in Times New Roman, and I want it 12 size, which it currently is. So now my font is correct. The running head of my first page is correct, but I still need to do it for all my subsequent pages. I double click to get out of my header, uh, and I need to have a second page. I don't have any content yet, so I don't have a second page. So what I'm going to just do is type the word placeholder, because that's just creating uh, some text on the page. I'm going to go up to my menu, and under Insert, I'm going to add under Break, Page Break. So although I only have the one word placeholder on my first page, I now have a second page by doing that. So on my second page, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on my first. I'm going to double click up in the header area, so I'm editing the second page header. Because I have already checked the box, Different First Page Header, uh, that's going to allow me to add a second page that will be different from the content of the first page, um, but this content will hold over to any subsequent pages that I write. On the subsequent pages, the running head is supposed to not include the words running head. So in all caps, I'm just going to have title of my paper. I do still need the page number, so I go back up, insert, page number, just like I did before, top right, there it is, and it already says page two. If I were to start adding text and get to a page three or a page four, this title of my paper and the uh, page numbers counting up is going to continue automatically. I don't need to do anything more. As the last thing I need to do is make sure my font is Times New Roman, and I am all set. I can start typing my paper. I hope this has been useful for you. If you have any questions, let us know, hnulibrary at hnu.edu.